Joining me virtually at the Check Please table are SFO private terminal worker Janet Monahan, nonprofit executive director Sean Tai, and marketing consultant Jenny Kirk. Let's get things started with the most important meal of the day breakfast. I love everything. There's so many different pancakes. There's the Hawaiian pancake with the coconut and the pineapple. There's the chocolate pancakes. There's apple pancakes. It's every kind of pancake under the sun. But I do love the omelets. The California omelets are my favorite. It has a giant half of avocado on top and crispy bacon chunks and tomato. And it's just it's lovely. Well, we know Janet would go back for this dish and has over many years. Sean, what about you? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm always a uh, a sucker for experience, and this was a great experience. On top of all of that, they have on the house soda water, throw a little lemon in that, and it was perfect. So I loved it, I'm definitely going back. I think this dish is really great to come with friends and family, share a really big bowl of this really delicious Calbee Gym. It's extra perfect on cold nights when Carl the Fog rolls in. All right, Sean, Sean's been waiting to talk about this dish, right? Uh, well, Leslie, <laughs> Leslie, you know what? Um, there's a few things I love. I love Korean food. I love pizza. I love Japantown. Have to tell you, I was not a fan of the dish. Oh no! Yeah. Why is that? Uh, super sweet, like to the point where I don't think I could get through a quarter of it. And and I was with my partner, and you know I wanted to love it. Uh, I looked around and I saw people enjoying it. I don't think it was for me. And I think the biggest thing that I enjoyed was the banchan, the, the three dishes they bring out in the front, in the beginning. Okay. One's a kimchi, one's a radish, and the other one is like a green onion that is very fresh. Uh, and also the assortment of rice, they were fantastic. Our guest's meaty love affair continues with Sean's favorite takeout staple, a savory lamb and beef shawarma bowl that he says got him through the pandemic. It's made fresh every day in downtown Oakland at Falafel Boy. So Falafel Boy came to me when I was visiting family in Jerusalem and everywhere you go on the street, all you see them is just making falafels fresh right in front of you in the middle of the street with a fryer. And it was amazing flavors and I was wondering how about we open one here but not in the street, in the restaurant. Most recipes are traditional. But some recipes I add a little kick to it, just change the flavor profile that what people like in the Bay Area. Mmm. In uh, Jerusalem they have shawarmas in every corner. Basically meat that's spiced a little differently with Mediterranean spices. Everybody spices it differently. My dad used to have a deli and he used to love shawarma and uh, my mom gave him the recipe and she got it from her mom. So basically it's grandma's recipe. We got paprika, fresh garlic that we blended up, salt and our secret spice. A little canola oil. We got pineapple juice, makes it tender, but it kicks off the vinegar flavor, gives it a little more sweet taste. And uh, we got vinegar here to make it tender. We take about 24, 48 hours to marinate, and we use 20% lamb and 80% beef. Our heat source is a lot different. We use lava rocks. We have flames coming out. It's not just an electric burner. It gives it more of a barbecue method cooking, and that's how I think we get the best flavors. It's never overcooked, it's never undercooked. It just comes out very soft, tender, juicy. So on a lamb and beef shawarma bowl, everything's fresh. We use arugula base. We put a little tomatoes, cucumbers, and on the side we put uh, just a little scoop of hummus. And then we put the meat, and then we use uh, tahini sauce. In Jerusalem, they don't use that much hot sauce, but they do have hot sauce. Here in Oakland, people love hot sauce. And the one we have, it's not too spicy, not too mild. We don't even ask if they want hot sauce, we just add it to every single order, because people love it. And if they don't have it, they'll be really upset. Okay, Sean, 
this dish alone got you through the pandemic. Yeah, Leslie, there's three things that I also love. One is Oakland, the other is biking around Lake Merritt, and the third is like really fresh, really healthy, but tasty food. Yeah. You get this explosion of flavor with the charred edges, how they use those broilers to just perfectly cook the meat. And I think it's that crunch, it's the perfect amount of flavoring. And when you bite into it, combined with that veggie, it's an explosion. And there's a hot sauce that you can pour on top, mix in. If you don't need too much, you put a little bit. And I would say that that's my go-to for sure. Right. I really enjoyed it. I went on a Saturday. So I imagine on a weekday, you get the hustle and bustle of downtown, but there was plenty of parking and it was so quick. I ordered and, you know, within two minutes, I'm sitting outside with my shawarma bowl. And I really enjoyed the flavors. It had rice on the bottom. The arugula was fantastic. Gave it a crunchy, fresh taste to it. I thought it was really, really good. And affordable, right? This is a dish that's affordable. Absolutely. It's, it's under 15 bucks and you get everything in one on the go. All right, Jenny, what about you? Did you enjoy this dish? It wasn't my favorite. Okay. I actually found it to be a little bland if you took out the hummus. And I thought the hummus absolutely was definitely a standout. I could probably eat that just itself on its own. Um, I thought the bulk of the flavor came from the sweet chili sauce, which was good and had a kick and built. But the more you added, it also became very salty. So I think it depends on your own personal preference. Um, the heat was great for me. For others, it might be too much. The salt was a little too salty for me. But again, for others, you know, obviously, you know, people are loving it. And it's very easy to get to. It's like a block or two off of BART. And in terms of waiting, what was the wait time for you guys? Was it in and out? Mine was incredibly fast. We walked in, everyone there is incredibly lovely. My friend and I ordered two different shawarma bowls and you know, enjoyed it outside in the Oakland sun. So even though you weren't enamored with this dish, would you go back to Falafel Boy in general for, for hummus and other things? I would for sure go back for that hummus. Right. That texture was incredible. And you don't have to get it as a bowl, but it also comes as a wrap. It does. And the reason why I love the bowl is for those that are carb conscious, they might be on a keto diet and it's a great kind of alternative to getting that uh, wrap. Okay. If you want to try the shawarma, Falafel Boy is located on Franklin Street in Oakland. Check their website for additional locations. And Sean's pro tip, douse the shawarma with the hot chili sauce for an extra kick. Thanks so much, Cecilia, and to my stellar guests on this week's show. We'll see you next time on Check, Please, You've Got to Try This. I'm Leslie Sabraco. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Fun. Which of these dishes would you try? Follow us on Instagram or like us on Facebook and let us know what you think.